Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I look healthy, I feel fine? Well, that may not be the full picture. Over 150,000 cases of colorectal cancer are diagnosed each year. Colorectal cancer is the number two cause of cancer deaths in men and women over the age of 50. And it is an equal opportunity disease affecting men and women in almost equal numbers. Colorectal cancer is treatable, it is beatable, especially if it is caught at an early stage. Colorectal cancer does not always cause symptoms, but it is preventable. Proper screening can find precancerous polyps that can be removed before they turn into cancer. I've had mine. I've had mine. I had mine. I've had mine. I've had mine. I've had mine. The majority of colorectal cancers do not cause any symptoms, at least early on, when they are the most treatable. In fact, most people with colon cancer don't even have a family history. The truth is, most people with colorectal cancer have absolutely no idea that they have it, that they are sick. For most of us, age is probably the most significant risk factor that we all share for colon cancer. For that reason, the American Cancer Society recommends that screening begins at the age of 50 in both men and women. If you have a family history, a family member with colon cancer, then you should begin your screening 10 years before that family member was diagnosed. Now sometimes colon cancer can present with symptoms. These symptoms include crampy abdominal pain, bleeding, and a change in bowel habits or bowel movements. If you have any of these symptoms, then you should consider screening no matter what age you are. I had mine. I've had mine. I've had mine. I've had mine. I had mine. I've had mine. I've had mine. The colonoscopy is the best, most thorough test to look at the colon. Here in the endoscopy center at Spear Memorial Hospital, you will be cared for by a group of dedicated physicians, nurses, and technicians that will ensure that your procedure will be done safely, respectfully, and comfortably. The day before your procedure, you will be instructed by your physician to follow a special diet. You will also take a laxative that will completely cleanse out your colon for the procedure the next day. Hi, I'm Bob Clay. I'm a lifelong resident of the town of Plymouth. Um, I went to see Dr. Casey to uh, have a colonoscopy and found out that I had some precancerous polyps in my colon, which Dr. Casey uh, sat down and spoke to me about and made me feel very comfortable about having surgery here at Spear Memorial Hospital. I did have the surgery here at Spear Memorial Hospital. They removed about six inches of my colon and uh, I am now cancer free and feel great and I'm very grateful that we found it when we did because it's made a difference in my life. I continue to have colonoscopies on a regular basis to make sure that it doesn't reappear. When you come in for your colonoscopy, a nurse will place a small intravenous catheter so that we can hydrate you with IV fluids. During the procedure itself, I'll be giving you medication through the IV that's going to make you very sleepy and comfortable. You should experience no pain during your colonoscopy. In fact, most of my patients snooze through the procedure and have no memory of having it done. Cancer runs in my family, and if I had not been diligent and stayed on top of it, I probably would be a statistic. I would had polyps the first couple times they had looked, but they weren't bad enough to be concerned about. Because we did find them early and we continue to monitor them, I feel relatively certain that I'm in a safe position to be able to continue a long and happy life. Here in the endoscopy suite, we have state-of-the-art equipment that offers the latest in fiber optic and digital technology. During your colonoscopy, I'll be looking at the inside of your colon on a TV screen using a small fiber optic scope about the size of my finger. Now during the procedure, I'll of course be looking for colon cancer, but I'll also be looking for colon polyps. A polyp is basically a growth within the colon, that when it's small, it's almost always benign, that as a polyp grows, it can potentially develop into cancer. 
Specially designed instruments that fit through the scope allow me to remove the polyp safely and comfortably at the time of your colonoscopy. By removing a polyp, we might actually prevent a colon cancer from developing. I immediately called all my brothers and sisters and told them what was up with me and they all went out and had one immediately because it was that important that I wanted to make sure they didn't have a similar situation happen to them. And I do talk about it with other people uh, because it is so important and it's a very preventable disease if taken care of properly and in a timely manner. Dr. Casey made me feel very comfortable. He was very knowledgeable. He told me all about the procedure, explained it to me. Um, and I just felt very comfortable with him because I felt he was a professional. So I was more than happy to uh, put my trust in him and I'm glad I did. After your colonoscopy is completed, you will be monitored for a short period of time until you are fully awake. After a light drink and snack, you will be able to go home with a family member or friend. You will be given photographs of your procedure and a copy of the report that will go over all the results. The next day, you can go back to work and resume all of your regular activities. The colonoscopy itself only takes about 20 to 30 minutes to do. The whole process takes only a few hours. Now, for most of my patients, anxiety about the procedure is the greatest concern. But at the end of the day, I think you'll be surprised at just how easy the process is. Hey, Dr. Casey was wonderful. Um... I was uh, one of his patients that got uh, well much faster than he anticipated and was back to work in nine days when he expected me to be out much longer than that. Um, he took great care of me and was concerned and continues to see him on a regular basis in the community and it's nice to see his happy smiling face. A colonoscopy is safe, comfortable and very effective at detecting colon cancer early. A colonoscopy can even prevent colon cancer. It might even save your life. So. If you're over the age of 50, have a family history of colorectal cancer, or have symptoms like abdominal pain, bleeding, or a change in bowel habits, talk to your doctor about a colonoscopy. So that the next time someone comes up to you and asks, have you had yours, you can say, I've, I've had, had mine. mine.